Recently, there have been many instances of illegal take and sale on the black market of federally protected birds, such as eagles, hawks, flickers, and other migratory birds. These birds are federally protected by the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act and the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Office of Law Enforcement recently had an opportunity to speak with a Native American about feathers and their importance to him and his religion. <clears throat> My name is Reginald A. King. I am also known as J.J. Lone Lodge. My Indian name is Maheo Heshiva. It means flying medicine warrior. I am an enrolled member of the Kiowa Nation. I am also Cheyenne and Wichita. What feathers are important to you in your religious ceremonies and why? So these feathers like the red tail hawk, um, winter hawks, flicker feathers, water birds, technical name Anhinga, um, not all tribes use every type of eagle. My tribes only use the golden eagle, the black and white. We do not use or associate the bald eagle in our ceremonies, our religious ceremonies. Um, some tribes have a high respect for the bald eagle because of the government status, the symbol that he is to the government. So, um, in religious ceremonies, these birds play a vital part to us as Native American people. How else might the feathers be used? And then we have uh, feathers that we use in the powwow for dancing. Eagles, hawks, macaws, pheasants. There's, um, I think that's really about it. Hawks, pheasants, and eagles are about the only ones they use in powwow dancing and those are made more colorful they're made more bright I guess you could say to catch the eye of um, people to catch the eye of the judges if they're in a competition um, there's a totally different way that people take care of those than we do the ones that we use for our religious ceremonies why are you talking to us today I broke the law. I violated the Migratory Bird Act. What message would you like to share? I would like for my children and my grandkids to be able to use my feathers and some of the feathers that we have in our family. We'd like to be able to pass these down to our kids and our grandkids with the mind, thinking, prayers, thought that we, we made a way here to, to pass these down and that our kids can have them legally.